24 hours after Rubio met with Ivanka, his sick Islamic secret comes out he's been hiding for months. Anti-blasphemy laws have been a massive victory for Muslims across the world as now followers of Islam can have people who speak out or criticize their religion thrown into prison. We continue to hear horrifying stories coming out of Europe and Canada where citizens are being rounded up and jailed for speaking out against Islam as courts are now turning their backs on their very own citizens in order to pander to the very group of people who want to kill them. Now, breaking news is confirming that a Senator Marco Rubio has just gotten a bill passed in the Senate that will make speaking out against Muslims a crime in a shocking move of treason towards the American people that will leave you speechless. Is this what li little Rubio was up to? We had enough damage done to our country under the tyrannical rule of Barack Hussein Obama, who was nothing more than a domestic terrorist, who worked tirelessly to further the mission of radical Muslims around the world. Well, now it appears as though Marco Rubio has picked up the torch of treason as he has just been exposed as the traitor who spearheaded a bill that will make speaking out against Islam illegal, which uh, was written by a Muslim terror organization with direct ties to Al-Qaeda, Creeping Sharia reported. On April 4, 2017, the U.S. Senate passed Senate Resolutions 118 condemning hate crime and any other form of racism, religious, or ethnic bias discrimination, incitement to violence, or animus targeting a minority in the United States. The resolution was drafted by a Muslim organization, Engage USA, formerly Emerge USA, and the Muslim Public Affairs Council, MPAC. Muslims across America were in full celebration mode, commemorating the hard work of Senator Rubio, where uh, Engage USA put out the following public statement. Thank you to the hard work of Senator Marco Rubio, Senator Dianne Feinstein, Senator Susan Collins, and Senator Kamala Harris. We have achieved the approval of Senate Resolution 118, an anti-hate crimes bill drafted by Emerge USA. It is days like this that Americans are reminded of this country's founding principles, equal opportunity, freedom, justice. We are proud to help support the protection of these rights. Hashtag AM or Amor Perfection and hashtag American, the American dream. So how bad has Rubio screwed over the American people? Here's exactly what's in the resolution with this, which the Senate has just passed. I'm dumbfounded, I can't. Federal law enforcement officials working with the state and local officials to expeditiously investigate all credible reports of hate crimes and incidents and threats against minorities in the United States and to hold the perpetrators of those crimes, incidents, or threats accountable and bring the perpetrators to justice encourages the Department of Justice and other federal agencies to work to improve the reporting of hate crimes and encourage the development of an interagency task force led by the Attorney General to collaborate or the development of effective strategies and efforts to detect and deter hate crime in order to protect minority communities. What's chilling is that this bill was pa uh, has passed the Senate and has now gone on to the House where almost the exact same verbiage was introduced as HRS 257 if passed, this law will create an interagency task force that will then go after people who speak out against Muslims who are a protected class, quote, 
H dot res whatever 257 urges the development of an interagency task force led by the Attorney General and bringing together the Department of Justice, the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Education, the Department of State, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence to collaborate on the development of effective strategies and efforts to detect and deter hate crime in order to protect minority communities. The House resolution was referred to the House Committee on the Judiciary on April 6, and from there it was referred to the Subcommittee on Prime Terrorism, Homeland Security, and Investigations on April 21st. Why the hell is Marco Rubio selling us down the river in order, order to further the cause of radical Islam? The Muslim groups he worked with to get these bills passed are not peaceful, quote, Islamists either. Engage USA's leader, Karum Wahid, is currently on a terror watch list for his extensive work with Al-Qaeda, and as a lawyer, Wahid defended Omar Ahmed Abu Ali, who was sentenced to 30 years in prison for plotting to assassinate President George W. Bush. This criminal. This is absolutely unbelievable. Who needs to be connect, uh, concerned with Muslim terrorists running around when you have Marco Rubio up at the White House actively furthering their cause for a complete takeover of our country? No wonder Ivanka didn't want to give him a hug. Share this story to expose Marco Rubio for the traitor that he is. You know, and you wouldn't believe it from a little crap like that. Unbelievable. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.